On. That was numb with every man deserves to choose has the right uh, deserves the right to choose his own path. A very long song title, but very cool. Like love the wall on that. It is very really catchy, like really bluesy, really rocky. And these guys are great. We played a song by them last week for the first time. But yeah, yeah, numb is it, is badass and absolutely effing cool. Like love the song. And just before I get to, to you, Mike, just a big shout out to Alma. Alma, thank you always for listening. We really enjoy, appreciate you being a big fan of the show. So, hello, Alma. Hi, Alma. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Um, I love, yeah. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, I love that track. That track, um, it, it's interesting because we played it last week, the week before, we played it recently, didn't we? Yes. Um, and I loved it then, but the more I've listened to it um, across the week, it keeps coming up. I have different um, LMS playlists and stuff, and it keeps uh, coming up. The more I listen to it, the more it's really grown on me, so it's absolutely become my new favourite band uh, for the week. Um, I think that, I just think it's really, really cool. It's got a real kind of driving uh, thing going on. I think the vocals are really, really cool. I'm a big sucker for a wire pedal, obviously. Um, and it just, it, you know, it works for me. It reminds me um, of, uh, it's kind of got that, it's quite grungy, it's quite... Uh, a little bit 90s. It reminds me of, I want to say Puddle of Mud, but I don't mean Puddle of Mud. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, you know what, Mike? Just get off the show now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's not what I mean. They did do one good song. No, no, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Bad one. <laughs> um, but that's not who I mean at all. But uh, I know. It's really annoying. But the, the guy in Puddle of Mud looks like the guy I'm thinking of in the band that's not Puddle of Mud, but it's really yeah, good. Wesley um, something. That was a very good description, but they're, they're, this is a good song. 
Yeah, I was like, what, Wesley's <laughs> Wesley something camera was something like that. But, yeah, I can't remember. It's, it's, it's nothing to do with Puzzle Man. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you know, you know, it, you know, we, we shouldn't we shouldn't knock there, them. I can't get that out of my head. We shouldn't knock them that much because Colt Forty Eight had a chance and they did open up for them there uh, about week or no about two weeks, maybe three weeks ago. Oh, cool. Well, that's so good. yeah, they they opened up for them. So you know, good no good good for them. Like, like big fans of of uh, Puddle Mud, uh, Puddle Mud of uh, Colt Forty Eight, but. <laughs> After everything we said, we are. Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, my friend. Now, do you know what? Parliament did a really good song. I think it was called Blurry, and it was genuinely a very good song. Yeah. It's kind of acoustic key. And yeah. you know what, Mike? Uh, the, the other week we played Common Love by Numb. Not this one. This is a different one. Oh, okay. So, sim- similar in tune, but but different. So. Well, there you go. Maybe that's why it's grown on me so much. It's a different yeah. song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right on. So next up, we have another Surreal. cool band. Oh, that we really like here is a band called Code Ascending, and the song's called Children. Dig this. Right on, "Children" by Code Ascending, a uh, song we've heard many times, uh, and uh, they did play that the Sussex Music Festival. But great tune, very tripped out. Like love this band. That's a great tune. I know we talked about the new EP that came out well. Well, that we go kind of like wait, wait, what? When? <laughs> that was a 
that that's a surprise for them. Yeah. Sorry, have you got a visitor? I can oh, hear. yeah, I, I got uh, two uh, two dogs here <laughs> kind of arguing a little bit. <laughs> so ignore, ignore them, but okay, go on. <laughs> sounds like sounds like they were digging the tube. Um, yeah. <laughs> kind, of send, kind of sending a brilliant. They put, I've seen them twice now, once at the Sussex Music Festival, once um, oh, probably 10 months ago or so when we played with them. And both times I've been really, really impressed. Uh, with how massive they sound on stage. I think they're a really, really top quality band um, who writes some really, really good tunes. And, and, and as we said before, when that EP came out, it surprised us both uh, just that it was coming out. And then we heard it and we're like, wow, <laughs> it's really cool. And there's elements of The Cure and there's elements of um, kind of other... There's a real 80s thing running through it, actually, I think, the more you listen to it as well, um, which is kind of cool. You know what? Um, and, go, go ahead. No, fish, fish up, Mike. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to that was pretty much it. Okay. Um, I, sorry, I thought I was interrupting you. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, I was, I was just saying there's a, there's a kind of 80s thing going through it, and it's got that kind of dreamy quality um, throughout the whole EP, which I think is really cool. And musically, um, it's brilliant. Um, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, is it kind of remind me of another song, kind of very similar in, in some ways, but in a good way? And I just have to pull it up, and okay, one second here. I think it's. Quiet the animals in the room. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> and it's not me. Normally it is, but it's not me this time. So, so the next song up is a as a literally a last minute addition to the list. And uh, Mike, you've heard this one before. This is Grim with Keeping Two Losers. Now keep in mind uh, the similarities to uh, the song we just heard, just because it is similar, but not in a bad way, in a good way. So. You know, it really reminds me of the Court of Sending Song Children. So listen to this. This is Grim with Keeping Two Losers. Dig this. I worry about you when you are not here. I worry about you when you are not here. I worry about you when you are not here. Because we're not friends. 